In this video, we will show you how to use the basic components of the business service mapping feature. A business service is an abstraction for a group of configuration items grouped together in a specific way or for a specific reason. The features we will see are creating a new business service, overview of the map generated by the business service mapping feature, and making changes to the map. We're logged in with a user who has the SM admin role. First, we navigate to business services. Here, we can see a list of all the business services. We want to create a new business service, so we click New. We add a name for our business service. All other fields are optional. Next, we must add an entry point for our service. An entry point is how a business service is consumed by the end user. For a web-based business service, it would be the URL used to access the website. As we can see, there are many options to choose from as an entry point type. Since our business service is a web application, we will choose HTTPS as our entry point type and its URL as our entry point. Once our business service is created, we can click View Map in order to view the results. Discovering a business service can take some time, depending on the following how many nodes the service includes, if it has been discovered before, network traffic, etc. For this demo, we're using a service that has been discovered already. Here's the discovered map. Besides the map itself, the map window also displays the properties pane, tabs with additional information, and the historical view of the map. Now let's walk through some of the map's elements. Each node on the map is represented by one or more icons. These are known as CIs, configuration items in the CMDB. We can click on the icon and view its properties in the pane on the right. This icon, for example, represents a DB2 instance running on a Linux server. The edges in the map represent the connections between the nodes. If there's more than one connection between the nodes, then a number will be shown on the edge telling us how many connections exist. We can also click on these edges in order to see more information about them under Properties. The small plus signs we see here can represent a group of nodes, either a cluster or an inclusion. Clusters are created when there are two or more hosts for redundancy. If a host is running one or more applications, then it is known as an inclusion. For example, different queues on an MQ broker. Until now, we talked about what we can see in the map under View Mode. Let's take a look at what we can do with a map in edit mode. Now we are free to edit the map. The first feature we will show is called Mark Boundary. Use this if you want to limit the extent of the service. All connections from this point on will not be shown on the map. To do this, right click on the edge and choose Mark as Boundary. This action can be reversed by unmarking the boundary. The next feature is for creating a new sub-business service. It takes a branch of the map and creates a new business service out of it. Use this if you want to break up the business service into smaller ones. Right-click on the edge and choose Create New Service from here. We will give this service a name and it will now be added to our list of services. Notice the new icon created for the sub-business service and the fact that it can be drilled into. As mentioned before, the business service map will automatically show all the connections between CIs and the service. If, however, we want to manually add a connection to a CI, we can do this by right-clicking on a CI and choosing Add Manual Connection. Similar to when we gave an entry point to our new business service, we will manually add an entry point here and choose the relevant CI from the CMDB. The result will show a new section in our business service. For more information, please consult our product documentation or knowledge base or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.